Hey fellow photographer, how's it going? I'm Michael. I'm Emily. And today we want to talk about digital makeup, the makeup that is applied after the fact, after you have photographed somebody, somebody or woman. Huh? You, you <laughs> apply makeup to women, right? Yeah. Cool. So this is um, this is an academy session for Good Light Academy, but I'm recording the next couple of minutes also for social because I think this might be an interesting topic for a lot of us. And uh, I've got a little surprise in the end. So let's get cracking. Or, or let's say a little bit of the history because mm -hmm. uh, in the previous session, in the previous video, you might have seen we photographed our friend Alex and we photographed her without any makeup. Now she mm. just came and uh, we took photos just like that because we wanted to simulate this situation where a friend or a client or somebody shows up to you and says, I need a quick makeup uh, portrait. <laughs> Your photos are always looking so great. Please make a great portrait of me. Mm. I don't have any time for makeup or something. And this is then how it looks. Now, Alex is for sure beautiful, but if she comes without makeup, then there's a lot of oil on her nose, it's greasy on the skin, and you see that in the light. Yeah, there's a little bit of sunburn on her cheeks and her nose because she was in the sun right before she came. Um, there's a couple of uh, little spots and, 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 and uh, skin issues. So yeah, without makeup, of course, you've got all these issues. And last time, you might have seen me applying my kind of digital makeup, which is opening Portrait Pro as a filter, saying automatic, and then you're done. <laughs> <laughs> and I had this result, which I think would be okay for a Facebook portrait. But you might have seen Emily, how she came in last time in the session and then looked at that and said, mildly smiling, uh, yeah, the skin is not bad. Did I? Yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> It's good. It's good. It's good. Huh? It's all good. So, so anyway, we, we said we want to challenge her. She should show us how she, as a makeup artist, is using digital makeup after the fact. And, and, and that's what we just do. So I would, uh, I would give her the photo. I mean, we can close the Lightroom. Yeah. And um, to save resources, not, not that the, 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 the little MacBook um, cannot do the webinar anymore. And then open it uh, in the software that we used last time. Let's say Portrait Pro. So then the software will start finding the face. And then I would also hand it over to Emily because from there on she is a professional. That's not okay, really... now it's under my control. Exactly. <laughs> so, so let's say it's detected as a female. So the software uses artificial intelligence to find out that Alex is female. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, the software is good. I mean, sometimes you've got photos with men, women, and so on. And then it's good that the software can detect the sex. Mm -hmm. It's fine. First, I will do find the center of her face. Um, it's a little bit. Uh -huh. So you, you adjust the mask that the software yeah. is laying over her facial features. Yeah, so center of her nose. Is it then for, uh, is it because then your makeup is, is sitting more exact? Mm -hmm. Makeup and the shadows. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, we already see the software is applying uh, a, a preset, or, or not, not a preset. It's default. The default. Default this, for female face, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the software has got some trained beauty ideal for female faces, but, but it also got a trained one for male faces. Mm -hmm. And it tr it's trying to massage the image towards that idea. Mm -hmm. But of course, and we can... Do yeah, I don't like to change her so much. Okay. I mean, like her eyes, I don't need to move her eyes a little differently. Because uh -huh. her eyes, it's her signature. Yeah. It's a really big eyes. <laughs> so then it's, you see the eyes, then let's see, it's see, um, Alex. Yes. Okay. So I will turn it down. Yeah, so the software said, okay, it will remove the eyes in, mm. in the face sculpt section where it sculpts the face mm. and uh, make it more beautiful. But the Emily thinks mm. that's not, then, then it's not Alex anymore. Mm. 
Okay. Uh, she's stretching her neck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> can, can you stretch it completely? Because oh, I really? want to see the giraffe see. neck one time. Yeah. Ooh, okay, that's a lot. For a lot of models, that's awesome. They want to have really a much longer neck. Mm -hmm. But for Alex, you wouldn't do that. No, not that much. No, not that much. I do 10. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the hair volume, yeah, I think she needs some hair volume. Of course, when she came, she didn't have her hair made at all. Mm. We just left it like that. Yeah. Now it got more volume, a little bit. Volume, a bit. Now I'll go. Skin smooth. Okay, skin smoothing. This is where a lot of photographers um, go overboard and try to learn frequency separation and all this stuff to smoothen the skin. Mm. But all these mm. software products they use. Algorithms like that. Yeah. Remove shy, of course. To remove shy and then remove greasy. Yeah, her skin was really greasy. Um, greasy. And there's a niche spot on here. Spots over here. Mm -hmm. then, then let's do it. Touch. Okay, so touch up. Is a sort of healing brush, yes. healing away spots and so on. Mm -hmm. Really I like gentle. the freckle um, around the nose, but not over here. So um, oh, okay. I moved a little bit. Yeah. And I left over here because I think it's kind of cute. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think so as well. Mm -hmm. It's come to the makeup. Mm -hmm. Do the makeup according to always what I do the makeup. So first is eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so me as a, a beginner, I would just do it in the order that the software suggests to me. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say lipstick first, then mascara. But Emily, as a makeup artist, of course, has got her order. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then eyeshadow is, is the start after the foundation. Mm -hmm. Eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. For her eye shape, I choose this blended shape. Mm -hmm. so. so it's blended as gradient mm -hmm. under gradient. her eyes. It's just under gentle. Eyes, yes. Don't do any evening makeup with a strong, I don't know, banana eyes. <laughs> <laughs> or cat eyes, something like that. Cat eyes? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Yeah, like that. So, um, then, lower eyeshadow. Not that much. Mm -hmm. So, I see it on, on her lid, actually. It's, it's mm -hmm. uh, lower eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. It's one a little bit too the if you make it very light, so you can see anymore. Mm -hmm. yeah, I see Emily doing all the settings very lightly. It's never uh, 97 of the scale mm -hmm. or something, 97 out of 100, but more like 10, 15. Mm -hmm. tiny Next bit. is eyeliner. Oh, yeah. Eyeliner. Uh, I should I will just choose this uh, simple. Or pencil. Mm -hmm. Would that the other ones would look too much like an evening makeup, like uh, liquid eyeliner is too strong for her? Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, it's okay. Like it would be, yeah. so for her eye shape, it's not suitable. Mm -hmm. So, cold pencil will be on the cold safe pencil. side. But I see a little bit into her eye. So yeah, so. the pencil is painting on the eyeball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I do this just on the mask. Huh? Mm -hmm. the mask. That's the mask. Yeah, the software has made it quite tight around the eyeball, and now for the pencil to be on the eyelid and not onto the eyeball, you just make it a bit bigger. Pull it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
If I was a woman, I would always go for digital makeup because then you don't need to paint with a pencil <laughs> under my eyelid, which I think is a torture. Yeah, once I got uh, one client, really, um, I did really torture. Wow. <laughs> she really have a really sensitive eyelid just all the time, like. <laughs> so I I gave her a a roll of paper to grab it. Then I see hey. also mask on the paper. Oh, yeah. bad oh, well. girl, bad mm. girl. Oh, okay. Hmm? Am I talking too much? No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, next. To be adjusted a bit. Okay. Good. Good. Now, coming to mascara. Uh, mascara. Mascara. That's lashes. Lashes is over here. Mm -hmm. um, she doesn't have so much. Oh, now she got lashes. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't need that much on her now. Yeah. To make it innocently young. Yeah, just she's, to touch. Uh, it's a suit for her face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess whenever you would go into these areas of the software like uh, 80, 90, it would be too much for her face. Mm. Yeah. Um, now well, she got lashes. Lashes. Eyebrow comes. Eyebrow, eyebrow pencil. Oh, now she got eyebrows. Yeah, but I don't. Before, before she she had kind of some eyebrows missing here at the end. It was mm. too thin. Mm. It's a pencil. Now it's full. I don't like the shape. It's mm -hmm. quite aggressive arch. Arch is too aggressive. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what so what do we do? With? This mask to lower this. Mm -hmm. Make it a little bit straighter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's too strong. Now it's looking. Yeah, it's looking natural. Mm -hmm. Now come to lipstick. Lipstick, 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 lipstick. Lipstick. Don't like this texture. I've got different textures. Yes, I've got this really matte one. Mm -hmm. okay. For this one, mm -hmm. a yeah. little bit shine on it, that's good. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, you like this color? For me, it's um, the, the color as such is good, but for me, it's, it's probably a bit much. So it's very, very, too much. very saturated. Mm -hmm. Don't know. I mean, yes, that's how lipstick is, but <laughs> now yeah, that I no, see no, it. No, no, you, you don't need it. You are the expert, not me. Oh, yeah, that's looking much A little bit less saturation. Mm -hmm. But I still see it's a little bit missing over here. Mm -hmm. So there's a little bit lower lip, which mm -hmm. is not. Do you see catch. that? Yeah, I, I see the, the little corner there. Mm -hmm. And let's go for this. Um, over here, hello. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, now, this mask. Good. Oh, yeah. It's looking good to me. Perfect. Let's put some moisture on her lips. Oh, yeah. 
moisture on her lips. Mm. Like, does it make it more fresh or more lively or something? Mm. Moist. Yeah, that is in the mouth and nose section. Mm. Moist lips. It's looking beautiful, I think. Yeah, now you've got this reflect mm. naturally reflect. Fantastic. Light. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. For me, it's done. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. well, let's go for a little bit highlight. Oh, yeah. So, highlighter is what uh, makes the cheekbones more out. radiant or something. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think last time I in the last session I used highlighter to cover her sunburns over here. Just just I used a lot of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was not ideal. Um, so blusher is making it a little bit red, mm -hmm. standing out with redness. Okay. This mm -hmm. eyeliner comes next. Du, 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 over here. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's making it shining bright. It's three huh? dimensional. Yeah. Let's see. Nice. So I think it's done from from my side. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so then. One thing you could do is you could give me the TIFF file with everything rendered in mm -hmm. and I can use it, that's mm -hmm. fine. But you could also give me the complete project with the file and all the settings in the software so that I can still yeah. dial it. And, and mm -hmm. this is how we usually would do it. So how do you do that? Probably show do quickly. It next save session. It's, it's in this software in uh, Portrait Pro. It's called Session, why ever? Probably like a makeup session. <laughs> I don't know. Makeup. Then but you you know it's yeah exactly. I'll save it. Then gave to you. And what I as a photographer usually would do is um, is, is one thing that I can show you that is uh, some fill light, maybe. I mean you, you know me. I I like hard shadows under her chin. I don't need much fill light or something. But uh, anyway. The software is adding, if I want that, skin lighting, and uh, this is the setting over here. Uh, I think it's beautiful in this case, but if I wanted to have more shadow on one side, let's say this is, would, would be her shadow side, like on the last photo that we did in the uh, previous session, I made a bit of shadow over here, and then I would move around this light to her left side so that there's more shadow on the right and more light on her left side. Or if I made that accidentally, I don't do one shadow, I could even that out. I could move the fill light to her left, uh, to her right to fill in the shadow that I accidentally did. So that would be some photographic thing in the software. Can um, you do horror lighting? Of course, I can uh, give the fill light from underneath and then it's looking like a little bit creepy. Um, like if I have a photo for Halloween, then I yeah. make my hair green. <laughs> exactly, I and mean, you can color the hair over here as well. Yeah. We don't want to make her Halloween, we wanted to make it nice. So let's say I stay with that light, and I would probably move it a little bit up, mm. but that's just a tiny thing. But one thing that I can do, uh, which, which I would definitely do, is, is this. I, I not only have one photo from that shooting, I have multiple photos. And I can save Emily's makeup as a preset, let's say. Mm -hmm. uh, let's, let's call it like Alex makeup and uh, save it as a preset. And uh, then I can, um, I can apply it to all the other photos. In this case, we only have uh, three other photos. I think I have it somewhere else. Here, bring up yeah, these three photos, but usually we would probably have a lot more, like 300, for example. Then we can um, 
open the software embed matlab and close it so i show it to you from the very beginning there are safe changes um, i would just uh, open the software and say i want to import an image batch uh, let's do this for the free photos just for for the fun of it and you also see how long the software takes because it's, it's quite uh, it's quite some effort so i open portrait pro i say open an image batch um, and then i select the photos that i have from that shooting and pull them in and now i select uh, a default preset or we did it over here it should use alex makeup for this photos and then save the result in a subfolder mm -hmm. i say okay do this and then the software is starting with finding faces and so on and so on and uh, yeah that just takes time but it doesn't matter because it's running in the background i don't don't have to care mm -hmm. it will automatically do the stuff save the results whatever I could use this as an excuse to tell Emily, hey, I need a new computer. <laughs> <laughs> Apple just released their new, uh, what is that, uh, Mac, Mac Power Mac, Mac Pro, Mac Pro, I think, uh, which was starting um, at $5,000 for the smallest version. Yeah. And for another $6,000, you can get a screen with it. Uh, yeah, I could, could now say, yeah, I need this new Mac Pro. Um, but but okay, I will stick to my little Mac laptop that we see over here. It, it's fine. It doesn't matter. But the software will run in the background, save TIFF files so that I can import them into Lightroom again. But uh, let's let's already check what the software does because we can jump over here into the projects and see with the image from the side how did the software apply the makeup there. So here's your makeup, but now shown from the side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hmm. I like it. So in the chat, people are confirming. They say, yes, I need the new Mac Pro. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> so let's see the, 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 the image where she was just uh, small on the box and her face was lit. Software is now zooming in. Let's uh, zoom out to the whole image where she was sitting on the table. Yeah, this is probably a photo where I would uh, disable the skin lighting to make it more even, but it's okay. Here we have the image where we have turned her so that I've got a little bit more shadow on the side where her hair is falling. I turned her around a little bit. Yeah, th th this, is, this is probably now a use case for uh, what I've just uh, shown. I'll bring that onto the screen again over here. If I definitely want to have that shadow, I would probably move around the light to this side and create more shadow over here. Mm -hmm. then, then it would be nicer for me. But okay, this is, um, this is all how to say that luxurious editions of the photographer. The basic thing is the makeup, and that is just beautiful. This is uh, the work that you can do and I can't do. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. So for everybody watching, I would say um, we will give you the Portrait Pro session or the Portrait Pro project that Emily just did and that gave me over here because then you've got the photo without makeup and all the settings that Emily did and you can play around yourself uh, and, and uh, have a look if, if that's fun for you. Um, you will need the software Portrait Pro, which you can get somewhere online and, and they've got uh, I think a 30 day free trial and the 30 days is plenty of time to play around and have fun with it. Um, and, and I will give you a link underneath this video and another link to, the, to your session that you just gave me so that you can play around. What do you think? That's... It's really fun. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cool. So I will I will stop the recording for uh, social media over here. So if you play around with it, I wish you a lot of fun and good light. <laughs>